Hello friends, welcome to our channel. If you are new on the channel, just subscribe to our channel by hitting the subscribe button. We keep uploading informative videos on this channel on diverse set of sectors. We are continuing with our first series, Transforming India. Previously, we discussed about National Smart Grid Mission, in which we discussed how India is transforming their power sector. In this topic, we will be discussing on Smart Meter National Program, SMNP. If you have not seen our last video about National Smart Grid Mission, you can click on the i button and visit that video. This video is the continuation of that video. So let's start this video. So in this slide, we will first discuss about SMNP and what is its mission. Smart Meter National Program is one of the branches of National Smart Grid Mission. It comes under EESL's ambitious project. EESL is Energy Efficiency Services Limited. It's an energy service company under Ministry of Power. It's an 100% government subsidiary and world's largest ESCO. Under SMNP, EESL will replace 25 crore conventional meter with smart meter across India. So why we need smart meters? This is one of the questions arises and how smart meter helps. So in upcoming slides, we will discuss about why we need smart meters, what was the reason to deploy these smart meters and which all the companies are currently working in this sector. So first of all, we look around how the experts are seeing this sector. So the power sector experts foresee that electricity demand is expected to rise by 79% in next 10 years. It has a reason as well. India is now eyeing on FDI. Indian government are changing its policies in accordance to attract the foreign companies. And you will see in next 5 or 10 years, many companies setting up their manufacturing plants in India. And to run the manufacturing plants, we need electricity. In recent year and also today, the demand is going down due to the manufacturing setup is shut due to COVID, but in future, it will be on higher side. So that's why we have to create the supply as well as we have to transform our power sector as well in order to efficiently transmit the power. One of the major reasons why the discoms of our country are in a big loss. One of the major reasons is the ATNC losses. We termed as aggregate technical and commercial losses. In order to curb these losses, Indian government set a target. So Indian government is eyeing below 12% by 2022 and below 10% by 2027. It's a very ambitious project. And it's in line with the smart grid mission. So we have to transform from transmission to distribution. Our generation is taken care by the renewable energy sector, but transmission and distribution, we have to efficiently increase the productivity. So in the next slide, we will discuss more about it. So in order to transform the transmission and distribution, 
we have to create an advanced metering infrastructure because one of the major reasons of the losses of this com is billing infrastructure as well because most of the electricity is not not built in india so these smart meters it's a combination of the electrical meter and the it module they are both integrated with sap ioc module and the it module is made up of gprs so there can be a 24 into 7 monitoring of all the things so we can curb the theft possibility as well and if there is any technical glitch there will be a monitoring system that is monitoring it there will be a team in the specific data centers which will be monitoring it so indian government has already started this project they started this project with a pilot project in delhi and then uttar pradesh haryana and bihar come into the picture so first of all we have to understand what are at and c losses and in which step they are being generated so at and c losses as we already term aggregate technical and commercial losses so there are three steps in power industry first is power generation then transmission and then distribution so in every step there is a power loss there is a energy loss so we are focusing right now on the distribution losses so there are two parts of that one is technical loss and second is commercial loss so at and c losses are nothing but the sum of these technical and commercial losses plus the non realization of built amount so what comes under technical and what comes under commercial technical usually revolves around the input and output difference there there can be a substation problem there can be a cable problem there can be a theft problem but in billing due to the theft most of the electricity is not built and many people they also use some tricks with the meters as well so the reading is not been built so smart meters will help in monitoring that because digitalization is used it is used to monitor that in the third point we already discussed about the losses percentage what government is eyeing for in 2022 but they have also set up a target in between for march and 2019 the government has set up to reach around 15% of atnc losses in order to reach the target of 12% so this is a method of seeing that whether we are going in a right direction or not when the project has started many states were at around 40 45% of atnc losses so we can see that there is a huge difference it's like if we are eyeing on 10% we have to curb around 35% in many states and they are due to the theft as well so around 6 to 7 states are already they are at around 15% but few states are far behind in this slide you can see that uttar pradesh bihar jharkhand and chatisgarh are around 29% that is double what we are eyeing for in march so it will be very difficult for government to tackle this that's why uttar pradesh and bihar are included in the first phase of smart metering deployment in the graph you can see that from quarter 1 in financial year 17 till the quarter 3 financial year 19 we reached from 25.9 to 21.1 and now in 2020 we have reached around 19% 
but after one year as well we have not reached the target what we have set up in march 2019 so we are already in a delayed phase so that's why government has to take the steps in order to expedite this process many foreign companies are also coming who are expertized in smart metering deployment many it companies and project management consultants are also working with the government so in previous slides you have seen that what is smart metering national program why we need smart meters what is the project size it's around 25 crore worth project and what are atnc losses and what are the major reasons of atnc losses in which step we generally see these losses what are the status of the states and in accordance to the target what is the status of india where they have reached what they have achieved and what they have to achieve so in the next slide it is mostly dedicated to the people who are currently into power sector or want to be into power sector we want to give you some details of the companies who are working currently in this sector so you can also prepare for these companies because these project are a future as per government data only 12 lakh meters till march 2020 is being deployed so the market is of 25 crore and only 12 lakh meters has been deployed so in upcoming 3 4 years you will see these sectors of smart metering and smart grid will be on boom so if you prepare from now you can get into these projects because the fundings will be on a higher note so if you can see in this slide lnt smart world and communication and edf india are the two companies who got the highest projects they both have to deploy 5 million meters lnt is working in uttar pradesh and haryana and edf is working in bihar edf is one of the companies who has already deployed around 40 million meters in france that's why indian government has given them the chance because they are the pioneer they have already done it in france robert bosch is working in andaman and nicoba fluent grid and bcits they are mostly into it infrastructure because it is also one of the major backbone of this program secure meters and genus power they are more inclined towards manufacturing of meters in this project eesl is directly procuring the meters so that's why secure meters and genus power they are directly working with comet pwc and accenture are also working accenture is majorly into it infrastructure and pwc is working in project management office so these are the companies you can target because the projects are of future worth and also there are many things to learn because it's a very new project in india so in this video you have learned about smart meeting national program and every aspect what is going right now so thanks for seeing our video till last if you have any suggestions you can comment down below if you like this video you can hit the like button and please subscribe to our channel thanks for your time we will see you in the next video